Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to allow packet tracer to interact with the real device. So the first thing, uh, here I show you the uh, Python TCP server. It's a very simple code, few lines, and uh, this server is going to run, when I execute it like this, it's going to run and listen at port 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now server is running, very good. Now after that I go to packet tracer. As you see, from Packet Tracer, I will uh, go to Internet of Things component, or I choose the components like uh, single board computer or uh, microcontroller unit. Let's go for single board computer. All right, so this is very simple. Double click on it, and I go to programming. So in programming, I want to open uh, a sample which already exists, like a template. A template already exists. Let's say I go to a TCP client written in Python. For uh, no, no, sorry, I have to go to real TCP clients. Okay, so this code actually is meant to interact with the uh, with the real computer. Uh, so this is a client, a TCP uh, client. So I will change this with IP address of my PC 192.168.100.2. I use the same part number as the one you see here. It's one, two, three, four. And uh, of course the code here is available, so you can study the code. So you have both the TCP client code uh, and the uh, TCP server code. Both codes are written in Python, so you can study them. I just want to show you how things work. And then when I go to run, okay, when I run this, you see there are some changes. Now let's see what happens on the client side. You see, connection has been established and it has terminated. So it's very simple. Now, if you want to make your computer available, if you want to allow your uh, packet tracer, or if you have a project in uh, uh, about Internet of Things, so you can make a very complex project here and allow this uh, single board computer or multi-controller unit to interact with your PC through the TCP um, TCP client using real uh, real TCP client uh, using Python code. So the same thing here. It's the same situation. If I change here the IP address 192.168.100.2, I ran this code. Okay, so the same thing happens. The same thing. So at first, I have to, I have to run my uh, TCP server running on my PC, my physical computer, and then I go to multi the. Uh, microcontroller unit, I will, I will stop here, I ran first, I ran, and once I ran you see it's established connection. Of course you need to know how to program using Python, you need to be familiar with the TCP, with the client server programming using Python in order to do this kind of project, but here you are, this is a very simple sample of TCP server, and this sample here for TCP client is available on both um, microcontroller as well as single board computer on uh, Python code. So this is very important. So now uh, you might go so sometimes you might be faced to uh, problems, let's say uh, the problems like um, you go to references, preferences, uh, you might go to situation like this, you go to miscellaneous, miscellaneous here and you have to enable, enable external network access from device scripts. So you have to put a check here on this box in order to allow Python, uh, or sorry, to allow the Cisco Packet Tracer to uh, establish connection with external network device. So the whole situation is very simple. Uh, you just have to use your imagination to build more complex scenario using Cisco Packet Tracer. Of, of course, always, center, always around the topic of Internet of Things. Hope this video was useful. Thank you.